Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Badland Buckaroos. Lover, but as you can tell here, we're a little bit of a conflict with the good old um, uh, Eastport folk. Um, at this point, you know, we're doing well. We're doing fine. I'm not concerned about it. We lost 155 versus 300 some. But uh, we might consider going to war with the 80s, just so we can grind a lot, actually. Before the Troll Warren try to come and kill us, because let's be real, the Troll Warren will try to come and kill us, which is going to be unfortunate, but I'm already expecting it. So, whatever. Train reduction. We've got some columns to go through as well in a little, little bit. But Smooth Talker. Uh, Savage Leader would be pretty good to get to. Observant Leader is not bad either. Division Fence. Tough Leader. More organization. Um, you know, let's do this one. I'll go Tough Leader. Leader? Leader? Get more defense. I like defense. Defense is going to be pretty useful. Yeah, I got three divisions trapped right there, which is very nice. We're not going to go to war with Vault City, because they might actually go to war with us eventually, too, so... Hey, we'll see. Let's see, you guys. Um, organization also moving, minus 20% would be pretty good. Spot consumption is not bad either. Equipment capture ratio might be good, too. Um, ninja. Ninja's pretty good to get. But motorized enforcers. Actually, let's take a look see. Mobile enforcers, motorized enforcers. It requires infantry armor, and it does give you more armor. But it does slow you down a little bit. Hector Amphibious attacking, but that doesn't matter too much. Yeah, that'd be worth doing actually. It gives you a little more breakthrough, a little more soft attack. But we don't have any infantry armor. So we'll get there eventually, but still. Nice. Um, we'll go with you, and then we'll go with what? Oh, from root some more entrenchment. Why not? Black Canyon, very nice, very nice, very nice. And let's again, just triumph more factory output. Oh, Eureka, yes, please. And we'll do you guys next. Because why not? Kind of like the Pokemon. Why not? So you guys are all going crazy, 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 crazy. Um, you guys all kind of hold here too. Kind of go to war with Oasis. Do that for now. You hold. You hold. Help destroy that group there. And if anything, we got nannies next. Nannies. Oh, actually, you guys go right there. Keep you guys in place. That'd be great. And take Charlestone. Why not? There you go. We got him. Not bad. Um, yeah. I mean, because I know they'll just they'll just want to attack us like crazy, again and again and again and again and again. So yeah, you can chuck some weapons. Sounds pretty good to us. Uh, we still got to finish all the stuff that we read earlier and rebuild industries too. But but rebuild our industries first. We're building more roads, which is not bad. Going to war with these guys might be a really bad idea, but whatever. You know, we're all about some bad ideas here and there. And uh, the refugees, not too concerned about that. Any prospectors for now, it's fine. We'll do that too. We'll do that too. Organization relations, drastic measures, don't really care too much. Um, armor. Well, we'll take as much armor as we can. We'll go with that one. Raven Eye, very nice, and go down there too. But just in case this is a really bad idea, we're probably going to save and let them run into our line as much as possible. We have enough manpower for now. We'll also core more divisions and make more divisions as well, but... Could we do anything about trying to go to war with them? Sure, Eureka, that's fine, that's fine with us. Maybe I'll take like, the long go right there. Could you do that, maybe? If not, well, then we'll just back off. Oh, we're also off. Yeah, no, we can't. Okay, it's fine. Give them some time. And this is a bad idea, that's exactly why we saved. Oh, what is guys? Quadrant searching out. Right. It's fine. Get some more construction speed, yes, please. I do expect them to attack soon, but then we also need to get some anti tank as well. It's an next thing we'll grab. Mm, were they fighting? Oh, they're fighting these guys down here, too. Makes sense. Okay, you're good to set show up. What have I said? Go right there. 
And what if I said, have you guys go right there too? And then we'll try to weaken our line a little bit more by seeing you guys go right there. The resistors are nice, but I think it's also very nice too. Come on. Well, and they are using power armor. Can't buy that logic. Can you circle those guys and kill them all? That'd be great. Yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah, they're, they're Enclave Power Armor. They're so lucky they get Enclave Power Armor. Can't yeah, wait to play Zurika. Oh, yes, please. Come on. Come on, Power Armor. Help us out. Bros, please. The building industry is very nice. Get this one too. Equipment st study. Because I want to get this coring, this coring part done too. That's the most important thing for us. I want you guys to go here and go here to go here. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Weaken them, weaken them, weaken them. Don't let them move. Come on, god dang it. Power armor in game? Yep, they're still in game. Come on. I wish they'd learn a little faster, though. That's why you went inspirational, you know. Yeah, we got him. Nice. There you go. Go in. There you go. Beautiful. Well, we're going to help attack there. Power armor wants to lead the way. That's totally fine with me. Let's go down here. We go. We got the army too. That'd be pretty nice. No, the power arm was going. That's already a thousand losses. We're going to suffer 500 losses, though. Not ideal, but whatever. If we can break through here and just start encircling divisions. That helps out so much. And start working on getting more divisions or more, like, spaces for money. Trade nodes. We have no trade nodes, but I think it sucks. Yeah, the Enclave power arm is still leading the way, so. I'm uh, gonna need some more focuses too. More resources. Of course, there are the ways of forgotten storehouse of valuable resources, hidden away in forgotten rooms. Why not make the most of it? Foundries, metal scrap, fabrication station, windmills, old wood, fabrication, use political power and manpower. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's come back over here and go and do this one. And then standardized the military, of course. Um, our militias use different types of equipment to bring equipment, be it firearms, armor, or even sometimes supplying food. Creating and standardizing basic arm mix and supply kit will simplify our food supplies considerably and reduce the strain felt both during defensive and offensive operations. All rule tactics. Inspiration taken from old data terminals and military manuals we put to use in improving our armed forces. Old rule tactics are effective if too crude for the wasteland. Combining them with skirmishes or skirmishing and guerrilla strategy, as well as survival training, will make our army into a capable fighting force. Fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops constantly scouting our rear lines for retreat routes, as well as pre-planned reinforced defensive positions behind the front line will make our forces able to tactically retreat under covering fire, instead of simply running as fast as possible and soiling their underwear. Point Defense Strategy Point Defense Strategy is designated as such because of its operating requirements. Multiple camouflage outward outposts armed with long-range weaponry, weaponry, and the off-the-beaten path will both harass enemy troops from afar and give advanced warning as to their composition and strength. Tactical Awareness and Mapping Integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the re training regiment of our training or command staff and recon sergeant will make them able to direct our troops more effectively and know they're surrounding better. This will allow them to move and strike in a rapid fashion as well as organizing ambushes and traps leaving no respite of the enemy. Marching drills. While well, I prefer to refer it as the improved physical and tactical drills, the frack and born walk, as our soldiers have come to call it, aimed to improve the strategical mobility would be a better resilience and faster march, being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having. Long distance movements. Expanding upon our marching drills, we managed to improve it as, as uh, to also maintain tactical awareness, combat stances, and proper battle spacing during long walks. Walks, as such, our troops are more ready to face an enemy counterattack or immediately join an assault without having to stop in a group. And here we are at everybody, in which well, we've expanded a little bit, and we had to use constant command. So first of all, the Troll Warren did go to war with us, as you saw the, right before the fade fade out. I decided not to go to war with the 80s, um, so we're here. And the reason why we've pushed up so much is because the 
Eureka sent in power armor or Enclave power armor and was able to help us push, but then they went to war with Umbra and died. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, also, apparently the NCR declared war upon us. So we're at war with the NCR. And then Vault City joined the NCR. So I, I, at this point, I just, I just had to use Khan's commands. There's nothing we could do about that. I mean, that's like impossible for us to do anything against them. So, unfortunately, I had to use Khan's commands for this campaign. But, oh well. Uh, what in the comments was, wow, nice to see you using general focus, uh, the generic focus tree rework submod. Gives a lot of options of what to do as a minor nation. So this person's been using it for the Gieros and Canadian nations as of late. Very cool. But let's continue with uh, just trying to run people over. Also, with our divisions, or with our herders, I converted half of them to mobile enforcers to get a little bit more armor, which is helpful. More breakthrough, more soft attack, more defense, and stuff like that. So overall, I think it's a, a good change. Because I've never tried it. i never used it before, which well, it's been, I think, overall a very positive uh, thing um, for this. So Overall, not bad. And they're actually... They're actually somewhat usable, so I'm actually really glad I'm trying them out. Um, let's see, so... They can somewhat pierce us? Um, do they have... No pierce... No anti... Oh, one of them does have anti-tank. So if they can't pierce us, that gives us such a huge, 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 huge advantage. I'm so glad I actually put those on. Rescue team, that'd be good. Oh, hello. Connect the dots, please. Or just do this. There we go, whatever. Can we actually just push in? Where are their divisions at? These guys are killing each other. I don't want to go to war with the NCR either, so. The infantry is definitely going to suffer and struggle, but I'm not too concerned when we have all this mobile power armor. Oh, we got them. Because we have saws. We we're making a lot of crowd control gear for the extra stuff that we need. So, overall, I think that's a key ticket here. Getting that mobile enforcers. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Um, oh, it's a desert fox now too. That's actually really good too. Keep going in. We're doing actually really great right now. Well, of course, we do have a couple planes here doing some damage too. You know, we don't have quite the range of it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, not bad. Really not bad because you see all the NCR over here too. Yeah, there are quite a few divisions, but we did make them six months before the uh, Enclave Power Armor divisions were told to go bye bye. So, and I guess we'll grab some salvaged cars. Salvaged cars. Salvaged. Salvaged. That'd be nice. That'd be very, very nice. And we got plenty of political power. And then we'll go back to war with the 80s as well. I do want to core more territory down here just so that it's easier to maybe defend against, maybe. Oh, we could save some political power. I accord all this other stuff too, so. Um, you go there. Go to Salem. You go there. You go in the dodge. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, the Marlux tribes went to war them too. Well, oh well. I think they've got bigger issues than just uh, focusing on the troll warren. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I'm actually very impressed with this stuff. Because I've never really used motorized effectively in Old World Blues. And I've been always relatively disappointed. But with this whole mobile enforcer thing, I kind of like it. Oh, did I click on that? Whoops. Whatever. Thank you all. Now let's go back to War of the 80s and see what happens. Of course it does help that we do have a Vault City under Stu, but whatever. Uh, you guys, we did that one. That one. I don't want to go to War of New Reno. We'll go to War with as many people as we can without touching the NCR, because I definitely don't want to touch the NCR. But yeah, I didn't want to have to use Consequence for this, but we would have just died if we did so. so. And I didn't want to die against the NCR. Or just Vault City, because we were trying to defend against the Troll War the entire time. Which sucks. Herders, nice. Marching drills, very good. Also, I did do this one because it gives another research slot. Our countryside is full of treasure and ruins to explore. Small communities live there, but are too isolated for anyone to access. Let's change that. Detect map awareness and mapping. Very nice. And I do want to core this territory as soon as we can, too. But it'll take some time. Um, nannies. It's only 100, why not? Oh boy. They declare one new Hammond, huh? That's not ideal. Might be able to save them, maybe. But do we really want to save them? Probably not. How many uh, divisions have we got? 
A lot of manpower, up to 60 divisions, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we'll see. As soon as we can do stuff over here, we can start encircling divisions quickly. And we have, oh man, maybe not. Hmm. So now we're back at the little thing here. Trying to figure out whether we can or cannot do well here. We should do well. We have plenty of manpower. So, um, go to three. And 60% is not bad. We'll need 100% here. Um, it's only 83, which is not bad, just because uh, we'll get more division defense on core territory. At this point, just go ahead and make an armored up a little bit. Not armored line, but fallback. But fallback line. I can speak. I can totally speak. We went mechanized warfare, rapid motorized deployment. Um, I had noticed that in overall blues, they have changed a few things, especially when it comes to um, stats and how much stats you get. Uh, nothing like this has changed, but oh, actually, you know what? Infantry, enforcers, war on platoon. But I'll show you just what I, look, but what I mean. Vehicles would be nice. Motorized. Probably desert stuff. We're in a lot of desert regions. Tank platoons, mountains, hills would be nice. Stack and fence. Swamps, basically marshes, urban areas. This is pretty nice. Uh, jungles, not too much jungles. Maybe some forest. Masters of the Prairie, though. That's better. Nice. Rubber refinement. Grab some of the two because we can. And how are we building up those forts? Are they coming along? They are coming along. We do you have side energy as well. We really wanted that. Cast bombing. Sure. Cam um, uh, caravan ambush if I could speak. Oh my goodness. Six, huh? What do we want to do? Just straight to war with them. They have a lot of divisions. Well, we could save and see what happens. Uh, coffee is so good to have. I love coffee. I'm not an addict, I swear. You know, prospectors, war measures. And there they are. Um, do we more planes? Yes, maybe we do. Oh, yes we do. Quite a few. And we don't have enough space, it's fine too. There you go. Nice. Very good. A little ahead of time. Um, we gotta get some of that too. And fallback tactics, why not? But we're since we already saved. Uh, we're gonna do that one too. I'm thinking right now. Division speed. Organization loss and moving. More speed, 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 speed. Or support the walkers. More armor, less speed, but more defense. We had to slow down anyway because of the mobile enforcers, so I'm not too worried maybe that this will slow us down too much, so let's go supporting the walkers. Our infantry requires support of armoring your vehicles and slowing them to an active mobile cover will assist them heavily, even if we don't rely on infantry. It doesn't matter how slow our forces are, they can't be destroyed by enemy arms and what can our foe do. Additional firepower. Giving our vehicles more firepower will ensure they are more dangerous than against their foes. Increasing armor. Armor and more armor forged by our master mechanics, so at least that's what they say, and hey, as long as it blocks bolts and light explosives, who are we to complain? Firepower support. Getting our vehicle space for additional arms, whether, uh, whether mounted or infantry arms, will increase our vehicle's effectiveness and protection. Can't shoot at a vehicle if you're dead now, can you? And mobile cover. Our forces can use the vehicle as mobile bunkers, hiding behind them and utilizing their firepower to ensure that any foe we face will suffer heavily in the process. Absolutely. And, uh, there are these, I might have. Recruitment, uh, recruit caravan guards. Uh, more and more commercial convoys pass through our cities, and we have noticed a curious thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promise them a place to stay in better work contracts, and their merchant employers will recruit them into our army, bolstering our ranks with trained professionals. Hired gunsmiths. The dare need for more firepower can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any gunsmiths available to our armed forces will increase their manufacturing capabilities and bring their small arms expertise into our ranks. So does weapon ma manufacturers. Mass investments into local weaponsmiths will let them recruit more people, expand their operations, and acquire advanced equipment. In return, will benefit from weaponry provided at a reduced bulk rate and have priority in any firearm batch over private citizens. And then, exception armory. Establishing a centralized armory building in every city center will simplify uh, supplies, increasing the access to ammo, giving a better working space, better working space for our military industry, as well as emergency location for military members to go in case of enemy attack. Plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction, as well as a streamlined design both integrating into the desert environment, and starting enough to resist small arms fire will let us construct military outposts as much, at a much faster rate to protect our territory. And finalize the defenses. 
The priority is the protection of our population in the city center. As such, multiple interweaving lines of defenses will be established on its outer perimeter. We can allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people, and we'll never let them. Our sale will be done here, not one step back. An interbase construction. Our nation could do well with clearing some land or restoring what the old world referred to as an airfield. Perhaps we can bring in trade, and at worst, we have free land.
there we have it, everybody. My god, that took forever. I hate the 80s. Sometimes they're okay to take out. Sometimes they're just really freaking overpowered and they need a hard nerf. But I think that's where we're going to leave it. I had to make sure that we didn't get declared war upon by the Sons of Kaga. So, unfortunately, we need even more comments, commands in this campaign. But, oh, well. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.